one of the most frequent asked questions regarding e-invoice is actually staff claims and how to handle it. Why so many people have misunderstanding or confusions regarding staff claims is because everything that claimed by staff is called staff claims. Actually, it's not. First, we need to separate them into different categories. The first category will be prerequisite and also benefits for staff. Example, allowance, membership, professional subscription, and so on. This is under prerequisite and benefits. For this kind of staff claims, actually, you should request e-invoice under employer name. If cannot get, request e-invoice under staff name. If still cannot get, normal invoice or receipt still okay, but with one condition. This kind of prerequisite and benefits must be listed under the company policy. The second type of staff claim is actually incurred by employee on behalf of employer. This is example for salesperson that travel to customer place, got parking, got toll, mileage and so on. This type of expenses or staff claims receipt or invoice is still acceptable but with one condition. The company need to prove that these expenses is incurred by staff for the business purpose. But do you know there are third type of staff claims? If you want to know more, please attend my webinar for e-invoice in February 2025. You can check out all the webinar details in the description. See you in my e-invoice webinar. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.